I love building bricks with Minecraft. Today, we're gonna be eating real ice cream. None of that stuff that's iced or really even cream because I don't think there's any cream in this. No, we're gonna be eating the giant Capilico straight out of Japan. The boomers have ruined the ice cream industry. I'm here with my good buddy, Cookie Alpha. We wanna help you celebrate. That's right, Cookie Puss. We want everyone to know that we're made at participating Carvel stores. Without There's no doubt about that. And yet again, the Japanese have to come in and say, well, I mean, this is how you really do it. And they present... Oh, well, right. oh, geez. You know, I feel like even if the colors were reversed, this would not make this any better. Although it is very appetizing. The packaging looks like your standard ice cream fare. And they've done that very, very well. I don't know if they have those guys in Japan that just roll around with a cart all day looking suspiciously shady. A chocolate, vanilla... Uh, strawberry, uh, cookies and cream. I'm pretty sure there's more than just ice cream in those carts, but this looks like something that you would get out of that. Let's go ahead, cracks bad boy in half. Mmm, strawberries. They put berries in my straws. They put straws in my berries. Oh, the chicken and the egg conundrum that may never cease. But this, yeah, this looks really, really good. Look at this flat top right here. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air type beat. And as we know, ice cream was invented in the early 90s, so it's quite fitting that it takes on that particular aesthetic. And it's even got a very pointed swirled cone on top. I mean, they've done a very good job. But the proof is in the pudding. And as we all know, the best part of ice cream isn't eating the top part right here. Oh, no, that's some pleb cheer boomer type thing. No, what you like to do is you like to get down to this part right here. Ooh, this crispy, yummy part with how all the ice cream comes together and all the crispy cones come together to give you something, oh god, that is just indescribable and only something that can be matched by soft serve ice cream cones. Hippity hoppity, Calipo, get inside of me. Oh god, that suck. Here's what you did right. You got the ice cream going down all the way to the center of the cone. Oh, oh man, that's a beautiful thing. That's Look great. at that. You Super got it going all the excellent. way through. You get mad papayas for that. But what you lose papayas for is the actual taste. Now, to their credit, they do have two distinct flavors on the inside. Strawberry on top and an aerated chocolate on the bottom. Both of which have a pretty decent texture to them. However, this tastes like something that someone who's never had strawberry thinks that a strawberry would taste like. It's very chemically and leaves this really awful aftertaste that makes me regret ever having the calico bar. The face of betrayal. Maybe I should give it some papayas for having a good crunch. Nah.